What's up, BZB Gear fans? Today, we are going over our BG PTZ control app. So, in order to get this, you can just go to bzbgear.com, then you're going to go to the support page, and you're going to navigate down to the downloads tab. Once you're here, you're going to go ahead and choose a product. Any of our PTZ cameras should bring this up. We're going to go ahead and go with the uh, BG Adamo 4K. Uh, just go ahead and scroll down. You'll go ahead and see all of the different versions available. We have Windows, Mac, and iOS. So just go ahead and download from there. If you're using this on an iPad, you can also go to the App Store, like on the screen, type in BZB Gear, and then you'll go ahead and be able to find our PTZ Control app from the App Store. Once you have this downloaded, we're gonna go ahead and open it up on the desktop of the computer or your Mac. Uh, we're going to be using Windows here, but the steps for Windows and Mac are basically the same. So go ahead and navigate up to this right hand corner, click on that button, and that'll bring up the camera tab. Just go ahead and press the plus button, and we'll go ahead and enter a name for the camera. Once you have that, we're going to need to input the IP address of the camera. And then once you have completed the IP address of the camera, you're going to need to grab the serial number of the camera and input it in. From here, you'll enter your username and password. The default for our cameras are usually admin and admin. And then if you wanted to, you can set the max speed settings for each camera individually. Um, that'll just be the speed from your pan, tilt, and zoom when you control the camera. So, we now have our first camera added to this. And it, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to add a second camera. For the purposes here, the first camera will be our BG UPTZ. And our second camera will be our BG VPTZ. So, just go ahead and navigate to the plus sign again. We will go ahead and call this camera, Camera 2. I'm going to enter in the IP address again, and then the serial number, and then username and password. So now that we've had those added, we'll go ahead and close that window. And these little tabs here are just going to be activating these cameras. Uh, so if you want to turn one of those cameras off, you just make sure it's to the left. And if you want them on, you'll put it to the right. You just have to click it, nothing big there. And as you can see, it'll bring up the preview windows for these cameras. And then when you mouse over it, you also have the ability to control the pan, the tilt and the zoom from the preview window. Now, what you're seeing here on the preview window uh, is not the same quality as what's going to be seen from people viewing the camera. It is just a lower quality substream to help offload the uh, offload the strain from the computer. So. As you can see, really easy to use. Uh, you have the ability to zoom, uh, focus, and manage the iris from this preview window as well. One extra feature that this app offers you is it going to be the ability to save presets. So it's pretty simple to do. You're just going to, in the preview window, mouse over that save button, the uh, floppy disk, and you'll be able to save the preset. You can name it, you can change the speed of the uh, preset use. So if you don't want it to be like a super fast zoom in or pan to it, you can go ahead and do that. 
Uh, all you have to do when you want to use it is you're going to navigate down to that left hand corner, enable it, and then you can click on it and it goes. So really, really great feature. One other thing to note with this app is as we are showing two different cameras, you also have the ability to control up to eight cameras using this app. That's including adding presets and other things. So it's a pretty versatile app. I think that just about covers most everything about this app, our BG Patrol, our BG PTZ Control app. So if this is something that interests you, go ahead and navigate to our website, check it out, give it a download, and we'll see you guys next time.